us as we pray prayer. Deacons forward. Amen. May the deacons come forward. Yeah, we trust I believe that everyone is happy this morning. Amen. Are we all happy this morning? Are we all happy? We'll start by welcoming our visitors, but we do not have any registered. If there is anyone who is here for the first time, please rise on our feet so that we can welcome you. supposed to be bringing people every service. Amen. Amen. The pastor is not with us this morning. He is still in Zimbabwe as announced. We hope that they will be uh, departing tomorrow. Let's keep them in our prayers. We will start with our thanksgiving. Uh, Brother Nyambia <coughs> and family is thanking the Lord. Uh, their daughter, Divine, turned six years today. Brother Nyambia, le ba la pa ba le ba kamu dimu fongwa na bone oi pelang malati at six. Today marks our 23rd anniversary, and we would like to thank the Lord and also appreciate saints for their support and prayers throughout the year from Brother Gutu family. Amen. Amen. You may stand up. Amen. 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 It's a wonderful journey. Amen. Amen. Uh, marriage is something that is beautiful when you are a Christian. Some get married today. The next week they are divorced. But in the house of the Lord, it's a long journey. Amen. Amen. Until what? Yeah, until what was said uh, when you were get when, uh, during the wedding uh, takes place. When they say till death do us part. Amen. We will enter into a prayer request. <coughs> Shalom saints, I continue to cherish your prayers that are taking effect. We will, however, travel to SA the day before yesterday. God bless you all, and thank you from Brother Wavuta. Uh, brother South Africa. Uh, 
Let's remember them the men prayers. We were speaking to them yesterday. They need our prayers. He's not yet fully recovered. Amen. Amen. Uh, Shalom Saints, kindly remember my wife in prayer as she's trav she travels from Zimbabwe today. And God bless you all from Brother Marisa. Brother Marisa, go by the table of Jacob and say, We are going to Zimbabwe from PN. Shalom Saints, we are asking for your prayers. My wife is not feeling well from Brother Bilu. Brother Bilu, go by the table of Jacob and say, We are going to say,
let's rise on our feet.
let us pray. Rappelé. Dear Lord, yes indeed, you are the great creator. We praise you this morning and we adore you this morning. We consider to be a privilege to be in the house of the Lord, O oh Father. Therefore, we call upon your presence in our midst, O oh dear Lord. We commit this moment into you, even the preaching of the word into you. May you open our eyes and our ears so that we can hear from you. Bless your people, O oh Father. In the name of Jesus, as we pray. Amen. Amen. Car le domaine s'amène la manière de se crescter. As you are still standing, may you open our Bibles. Harsan te remer kabula di Bible taruna. So we like to go to Isaiah 42. Mwalo kaluna ka Isaiah kalo 42. And from verse 1 to 7. Kocha matemani yanta. Then we go to Matthew 4. From verse 12 to 17. So starting with Isaiah 42. It says, Behold my servants who are who am up, uphold, my elect in whom my soul delighted, I've put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised head shall be not break, and the smoking flax shall not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto, unto truth. He shall not fail, nor be discouraged, Till he have set judgment in the earth, and his his house shall wait for his law. Thus say God the Lord is is that created the heaven and the, the stretches them out. He that spread for the earth, and, and that which comes out of it. He that give breath unto the people unto it and. Spirit to them that walk therein. I, the Lord, have called thee in the righteousness, and we all thy ends, and will keep thee and give thee for covenant for the people, for a light of the gentle, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoner from the prison, and them that it sits in darkness out of prison house. But uh, we can read Matthew 4, 12 to 12. But that's your name? Matthew 4. 4. Okay. 12 to 17. Matthew 4. 4. The man who's a mother 12, for the number 17. Your name is Ebadah Jana. Jana is the out of Johanny, a holy hillway, a mongrel, a quahalalia. Azwa man nasa reta atla aha mo kapera na ome o fale wateng mo me lolo ane wa sebuloni le naftali. Kore hotla hoti rale se si kileng sabuwa kemo profita Isaiah are le fasela sebuloni le fasela naftali a buleba na le le watle mo seja hajoritani halale ya owa merafi. But to Baba Ning, but do the money for thing, Baba Nale said, Dile le holo, Le Baba Ning, but do the more fasting, Lele Mom reading while or so, Le Sedilla but Tabella. Esa legalo bagalo, Jesua Simolo la Horrera, Le Hori equal tying, Honnebo Hossi, Jualo Hodimo, Boatamate. Amen. 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 Thanks, my brother, who may be seated. Gana Fati. So we consider a big privilege to be. In the house of the Lord. As it was mentioned, the pastor is not with us. So we just want to stand in the bridge. For the ministers. Standing in the bridge for the ministers. Uh, hopefully, you come back and continue with uh, the word of God. 
Just to appreciate your trust and confidence we have to, the, to this church. Coming and believing that this is the place you receive the word of God. And be able to bring your requests. Your thanksgivings. And supporting the church by all means. We are living in a time of darkness. And where people, they don't trust one another. They don't believe one another. By you coming, it just shows that you still trusting in the ministry. Which we are receiving from the God, from the Lord. Through the servant, uh, brother, uh, Pastor Kumamose. So, um, when the pastor asked me to just to stand in a gap, I was asking myself, what should I say? <laughs> not, not having a lot of knowledge about the word of God. But I just remember that, okay, last Sunday is the one who preached. Uh, I was not around to listen to the message. But I managed to live stream later on. And I really appreciate the preaching of the word of God on Sunday. And I'm trying to believe you enjoy like I, I enjoy when okay. I was listening. It changes the four ways of seeing God. And that is wonderful. We should be able to see God. Wherever we are, we should know where to identify God with us. It's wonderful to see that we can identify God in the universe. God is in the nature. God is in the word of God. Of but God is also in the people. And I really enjoyed that last part, the way you present it. You able to identify God in your brother. And I'm able to identify God in your sister. And it's very important. And I tend to believe like people are bringing prayer requests here. They kind of believing that the sense of living God by the time they pray, God will answer to the prayer. Because they trust that you have God in you. And also they have God in them. By recognizing the God if it's in you and offering prayer God will answer to that prayer. And this is true, by the way of experience, prayer which is offered by somebody else, God answer that prayer. And the prophet always teach us, don't pray for yourself. Pray for the next person, the person next to you. By praying for that person, God knows your needs. You answer that prayer. Even when you are on a journey, you are traveling, or what? You pray for you, God will protect you. In fact, it's not only protect you for any accident. Whatever, but mainly from the spirit you are going to encounter. Remember when you are out of your usual place, How do you feel in the your comfort place, that is the place where now the devil will take opportunity. And I have a lot of experience about that. That will not allow me to go through. But I remember one day I traveled for work, and I was um, put up in a certain place in a room, and then over the night, a just strange spirit came in. Very strong. It took me almost out of the bed. 
Testimony. How reza bo pagi yamu kalu nge peregrin. He tells you that sometimes you go to tire to the prophet. Arang wana ala paka don prophet. Booking for a room. A very nice room. Ntuyente. Very expensive sometimes. Tu rang hako nge. But the moment the prophet get in the room. Meam prophet at the moment. Please can you change the room for me. Aren change la kamore. So it took time for peregrin to understand what was the matter. Hoja na ko hore peregrin asaro kanyo rukhanki. Was the place not nice? Beautiful. But it was not the case. It was the spirits which were in those rooms. And you don't have the discernment sometimes. But, but people who are remaining behind are praying for you and you get more protection. How do you encounter those kind of spirits? I remember one day I went to I went to for work again in Europe. I've already seen this time many times. Then we were traveling around Europe. Then went into a storm. And uh, the plane was just about to crash. We moved around about two, two hours. Trying to find where we can land safely. And it was quite not easy for the pilot to find a place where to land. And he told us that we are remaining with 20 minutes of fuel. We don't know what may happen. Behind me, there was a pastor who was praying for me. And God just revealed to him that something was going wrong. They were gathering at my place because we had a visitor minister. And they were some kind of supper. Now, by the time we were just about to leave, we had to close the place to, to just to dismiss. The spirit of the Lord came down. And tell the pastor, my son is in trouble. Or the house in trouble. He didn't say the son, but he said the house in trouble. If the prayer is not offering right now, something wrong will happen. Brother, the gate was already open. People were getting already in their cars, ready to leave. But they went to back. And they pray. That the time where and that the spirit of the Lord came in that plane and the pilot managed to find a space where to land. When I came back, when, I didn't, when that happened, I didn't, call, I didn't tell my wife for the fear of, okay, now how are you going to come? Will you come by bus or by train or what? So when I came back, I told the pastor and the, my wife the story. So exactly the time when we were in trouble, that's the time when the spirit of the Lord came down to my house and asked the pastor to pray. So God is in his people. He is in his people. For you to benefit for that, we have to trust one another. And believe one another. So based on that, I really enjoy what the pastor prayed last Sunday. I thought, okay, should we just continue on the same line? By talking about God is in nature, God is in people, God is his universe. But we like to focus more on the subject of the light. Because God is... And uh, the prophet says he, he studied the light. Or he studied this subject. And he's referring to it in many of his preaching. 
He's referring to it in the great shining light. He talked about let your light shine before men. He talked about there is a man that can turn the light. He talked about turn on the light. For today, we want maybe to focus more on what he said through the, all these four um, sermons are similar. And they are referring to the same scriptures. But for this morning, we like maybe to focus more on what he talked about the light in the sermon in Tacho. There is a man that can turn the light. Where there's darkness everywhere, we need a man who can turn the light. So, as the prophet talked about the light, he mentioned a lot of things. What the light can do, or what is the light, or the importance of the light but in the natural world. And I found that a lot of people had a lot of interest in the light. And even the scientific world have really studied the light. Trying to the beyond the delights. Clearly, we don't have to have a lot of knowledge to understand that the light is coming from the sun. The beautiful light we are enjoying is coming from the sun. And the sun is the biggest planet in the solar system, as we know. And it uh, produces or is bringing a lot of things to us. And we try to understand the sun. And through the sun, we can understand a lot of things which are happening. We know that in the, in the solar system, the planet system, as we are living on this earth, the earth is rotating on himself, and he's been exposed to the sun, and by that rotation, we are able to understand the day and the night. We do now, we do know that we have 12 hours for the days and 12 hours for the night. That's why it's quite easy for everybody to understand. We know that also the sun is rotating on the earth. We know that also the earth is rotating around the sun for 264 days. 